I'm going to show you how they paint water reflection in underwater rocks in watercolor. To view the final painting, come to visit yongchenart.com. If you want to download the reference drawing template and interact learning with me, come to join us on Patreon. Okay, let's first take a look at where I'm going to separate uh, the top of the water and under the water. Let's do a very simple, a little markup. Okay, any color is just fine. This is a little bit blue. That is just okay. And let's give a little bit more thinking. And if the top, I'm going to leave the top about this much. Okay, so put a little mark over here. If this is what you want, and think it, give it a minute of thinking about it. Okay, so I'm going to have it down over here like that. So I'm going to have this all the way like a horizontal line and all the way to the other side. At least two layers of mountain. So I'm going to have this this shape coming over here all the way coming up and a little curve right here. And then in here and there's a sir, some shape a little bit closer and there has a catch the shadow right over there. So this is good. And on this side I'm going to have the little bit curl up. This is good. And then we're going to have the little distance uh, mountain in the back over there. Okay, like that. So we're going to paint the, uh, the distance first in this painting. And then we're going to uh, go into the reflection. Okay, like that. This is pretty good. And under here, this is the reflection. So if you miss our uh, drawing study and meeting in the community, and you can look at their uh, member only uh, video in the uh, in the community uh, area in uh, Patreon. Also, soon is going to be part of our learning center. Okay, that's good. Like that, and this, this is the exact shape coming over there. And you can notice the water at the movement from left to right, like that, very much like a horizontal, a little curve coming on on this side. Okay, so this is the one thing, and the blue color over here, I'm gonna have it also have those shape over here. So let's paint the top before we paint the bottom here. And then we're gonna paint, talk about how to paint the rocks. All right, let's start from the top over here. And we're gonna paint the clouds. So I'm gonna have a little water and over here. We don't have to make it get too wet, okay? Just a little bit. So I'm gonna use the larger brush. I'm gonna take a look at just not too much water. That's just good, like that. I want it to be a little bit quicker, cohesive, finish uh, the sky and coming to the bottom over here. This is good. So now I'm going to just use um, a little blue color. If the blue is too bright and then you're going to use a little red. This blue is a winter blue green shade. All they have a little bit green kind of colors. So when you have the red mixed into it, it will be perfect. It will become more like a gray. If you have more red, it will be, become a gray color. Okay, now let's take a look at And I'm going to just only use the corner of this. Okay, like that. And I have some coming up over here, like that. This is good. And I'm going to have just a little bit like this. And also a little bit cloud over here. This is good. All right. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna just have a little bit blue coming down over here and add a little red. It's too bright. Okay, this is good. All right. I'm gonna have this, just the corner over here, like that. There you go. That's good. Like that. And and a few a little bit more thinner line, a little bit clearer. That's just good. Nice. That's a little bit more. 
Uh, this is the whole paper. The top over here is still pretty wet. So says this is good, and will make it feel really like the. Okay, this is good. Now the sky, and it's setting over there. Now I'm gonna come into the click of brush. If you need to get this set of, or uh, I call it enjoying art brushes. And you can come to enjoyingart.com slash brushes. And over there, there's also a video of talk about how to use this, the techniques, how the preparation for these two brushes. Okay, now I'm going to continue painting into the cloud. Uh, under the cloud, there will be the mountain. So I'm going to paint just uh, not really dark. All the mountain over here in the distance get a little bit less and less dark. And even though I have cast the shadow on it. So now I'm going to take a look at the blue color. Get a little bit red. Now it would look like a little bit more gray, right? This is good. So this also would be great for the uh, edges in the distance. Okay. It's a little bit soft. Look like this will be fine. Okay. And coming over here. And a little soft edges. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Okay. That's good. And I'm going to have that a little bit blue. Just get a little bit blue. Okay. This is good. And here you go. A little bit blue coming down over here. A little bit later. Okay, here you go. And uh, farther away, just a little bit more, more closer to the sky, the colors of the sky. And coming up over here, and we can add the little edges, make it even a little bit darker. But a little bit later. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that's very nice. And trust the process. And it won't, and if you, if it come up to be a little bit different, and it could be for even better. Okay, let's take a look. And this is the top of the water. Now, this is good. Now I'm going to have this a little bit green and let it, let it separate a little bit. Now, I'm going to come back here to make a little bit fixed. Now I see that in the edge over here in the distance I also have a little mountain over here. So let's just put a little blue color over there. That will be fine. And over here, a little bit closer to us already. So I'm going to have just a little bit less blue. Just put a little bit, uh, the little brownish color. And also a little brown on the top over here. That's just good. And all right, looks as nice. It's okay, don't panic, especially when it turned out to not exactly what you planned for. That's also be fine. I'm gonna have a little bit red, that, like that. That's a little bit more gray color. I'm gonna put that right here. And this also more, more like have a little catch to shadow on it. Okay, that's good. Like that, and also over there, have a little bit like a look like a under the uh, the cast shadow. Now I'm gonna take a look, and it need to be a little bit more red. Get a little bit darker. That's too much. That's is good. This good. I'm gonna have this from here. Look at that. A little bit darker. A little bit more clear over here. I'm gonna. Just leave it up a little bit because I want that the the farthest area. So just leave a little color. Just make it a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. So lighter, it will appear to be feeling a little bit farther away. Okay, that's good. Like that. And over here, this is still wet over here, so I'm not going to put the color here. We'll come back in a little bit. Let's go into the mountain a little bit closer, closer to us. So I'm going to take the, uh, just think about the color, think about the value. The value is the important part of the attribute of colors. So this is already uh, green. 
I'm going to pink this side first. Get a little bit more yellow. And here you go. That's a little bit brighter. So here you go. Coming down over here. Okay. Coming down. Keep going. Okay. That's as good. And come down here. That's just the bottom. You see that that is a line up with this. That's going to be have some blue color. This is good. All right. So over here, let's first have the, um, the overall color, which is green. And thinking about it, it's not dark enough. Okay. I'm going to have that a little bit brighter green like this. Get a little red into it. That's good. Now that's a little bit darker. That's look better. Okay, here you go. Okay, now at the bottom over here, a little bit closer to us, right? So we're gonna have this even more, a little bit more, so a little bit uh, contrast at the bottom. So I'm gonna have this color. And coming through, this is horizontal. This is good. And coming down a little bit. Okay, that's just pretty good for now. And I'm gonna have a little bit red at the bottom over here. Okay, this is good. A little bit darker. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker detail in a moment. Okay, we'll come back, give it a little bit more. Now I'll take a look on this side. And this is already getting dry. This is good. And this, the top over here, appear to be a little bit farther away. So, uh, so we're gonna have a little bit more blue, yeah, a little bit less yellow and less red, right? Okay, got a little bit yellow, like this. And this is good. From here, coming up, there you go. This is good, like that. And the color and the value closer to the color behind it. Okay, that's a little bit red and blue. Okay, a little bit gray. Okay, here you go. That's good. Okay. Pretty nice. This is on the same horizontal color. Okay, this is good. Okay, when it a little bit down over here, I'm gonna now have a little bit brighter color. It's similar to the color on the left hand side. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. Just think about the uh, saturation of the color. So see how bright the color would be. And a little bit closer to us, a little bit brighter. That's a part of the aerial perspective. Okay, here you go. Now, that's good. That's the horizontal line. Look like from here all the way coming onto this side. Okay. After we finish the front over here, the back should be able to drive and we can go back to it. Okay. This is good. We got this color and that color showing this is a little bit closer to us. Right. So this is good. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit red. Okay, just put a little red in here. Here you go. Some little bit. When we make it red, it also look a little bit darker as well. And I'm gonna have a little bit blue. Now I'm gonna put this color over here a little bit darker. Here you go. Now, some a little bit darker. Showing that. That's good. And the tip over here also a little bit darker. Okay. Just have this mixed with the blue and green color. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's just good. Now this may be a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. Okay, now I'll come back to the to this side. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color over here. 
get a little bit blue. So think about, is that too red? Okay, this is good. It's still wet. So this is good. I have a little bit softer over here like that. And now I'm gonna have a little bit uh, softer color, a little bit lighter. Now, see a little bit texture. Now showing that it's a little bit closer to us. Sometimes you, you maybe add too much. And in that case, you need to do the adjustment a little bit later to get something off from the place. So this is good. Now this, a little bit softer. Okay, that. And I'm gonna also, uh, that's this is great. This is some good texture, but I'm gonna have a little bit more green color. Here you go. Coming back over here. That make a little bit softer coming down here. That obviously a little bit too heavy. Okay, that's good. I also add a little texture to it, so make the make it appear to be a little bit closer. Now I'll come back onto this side, get a little yellow color, and have this a little bit brighter. That's good. A little bit yellow color. It's still wet, so it's good. I'm gonna have a little bit dark color, just a, a little bit, and the value contrast. Is to greatly impact your feeling of the distance. Okay, like a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker, like that. Okay, that looks just pretty good. Now I'm going to come back to the distance. Now I'm going to have a little bit blue color. Right, here you go. A little bit blue. Now I'm going to put it right in the distance here okay that's maybe too much blue so i'm going to come back with a little red and you can see this have red and blue color so if you want you can just borrow the color over there and that could be just fine okay here you go now that's good i'm going to have that a little bit more a little bit more clear now have something coming down over here that's good all right, now come up over here. We shape the edge. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna uh, uh, continue over here and come back to make this color a little bit uh, between green or uh, gray green colors. I'm gonna have a little bit more. Okay, a little bit green, a little bit blue. Okay, have a little red. Okay, that's good. Right here. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna have just a little bit blue. Okay, here you go. Now it's showing there's more in the distance. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's good. Now coming on the top over here, now I'm gonna have a little bit darker. And but not completely dark, just a little bit darker, showing the cast shadow. Okay, that's good, like that. And have a few shape, that's good. And a little bit showing the edge, that's good. And have a little bit more gray green color, there you go, like that. Okay, this mountain looks very nice. Now I'm gonna come back over here to have that. It says, if you see the colors are not ready to apply, and for whatever reason, you don't have to force it. it just come back in a little bit, right? Now I have this color and a little bit more gray than the color at the front. So if you think about, oh, it need to be more, more. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color over here. Uh, showing that more in the distance. Okay, here you go. And then coming down over right here, I have a little bit more gray. And that means I'm gonna have a little bit red mixed into it. Is it have showing a little bit more gray? Coming coming down over here, that's good. And uh, let's see. And the color, I'm gonna have just a little bit more blue down over here mix into into it and now i'm going to take a look connect here 
all the way to the other side that's good that's nice all right this is good now i'm gonna come to the other side have a little bit red and blue color so to do the cast shadow so a little bit more red that's just good and I still need a little bit more yellow it's appeared to be a little bit green so, but this is much much darker than the color they will already have this is good like that and coming up like this this is nice a little bit more blue oh a little bit too much it's okay like this there's cast shadow and the top over here have a little cast shadow okay that's good and also here can show that a little bit cast shadow over here too yeah this definitely a little bit too bright okay there you go that's good all right and have some shadow shape that's good and now onto this side I'm going to use this exact same color and coming here okay that's good and that's the catch the shadow like that nice okay the top over here on the edge you see a little bit and the top over here can also have a little bit more so that will be fine it's good a little bit softer over here coming down okay give it a little bit subtle a little bit more and here you go that's good and keep a little indication of the uh, edge okay that's pretty good and then the top is almost almost good right so I'm gonna have this a little bit softer just use the clean brush just soften it a little bit and it already uh, created an impression there's a little bit more in the distance now I'm gonna have a little bit blue color and keep that a little bit over here here you go that's a little bit and also give a little bit more uh, in the mountain on the left hand side okay let's get a little bit more I think this is pretty good uh, to create a feeling of the distance okay that's a little bit too bright but it's okay okay I'm going to take that a little bit lighter that's just good okay all right now uh, the sky and the mountain looks pretty good we may come back to give it a little bit more enhancement and this can come up a little bit that's good like that uh, now we're going to start painting into the water so the first thing about the water and nothing over here is directly white except just a little bit light over here so with this I just going to take the little gray color like a little bit blue color I'm going to put it into the entire water first okay like this give it a little color a little bit lighter and coming to the top over here so you can see this the water on the top over here leave a little gap okay that's good like this just get a little the gray color the gray color which include all the yellow red and the blue color right that's good okay i'm gonna have that it's a leave a little gap at the top okay that's good now i'm gonna have the overall color coming down especially the rock under the water nothing jump out like the objects above the water right so i can screen my eye i can take a look and the whole thing over here look like a little bit of the red mostly and right in the middle here and have a little bit more red color over here okay like that 
and now the front over here and also I have a little yellow color okay I'm gonna put a little yellow a little yellow color right over here like that now you can see everything over here is not really a high contrast it's all under the water okay now the front over here it's I want you to think as comparing the color screenshot and you got this the rock over here and this is a little bit over here just get the impression of the overall color not the individual right now a little bit farther away I'm gonna have a little bit more blue over here have a little bit blue and here you go right here like that a little blue over there okay all right too much green i'm gonna let go a little bit okay this is good and we're gonna have a i'm gonna start working on that sister uh green color on both sides in the reflection so like take a look i'm gonna have the little big blue color in the middle over here here you go the blue color that's just the reflection of the color over there and like that right here that's good like that and we're going to after you drive I'm going to come back to draw a little bit clear shape okay and okay that's just good I want to take a look at the front over here. That's a little bit too wet to the reflection have some really clear shape. So I'll do that in a moment. So I'm going to take a look at the front over here. Have a little bit darker color. I'm going to get the red with the blue color. Now I'm going to see the color very very dark in here. I'm going to take a look. There's a color, but everything over here under the water it's still very soft and here you go I'm gonna have a little bit here that's the rock and that's underneath have a little bit more uh, brownish color here you go like that and on this side okay That's sit. Can okay, have a little green color? Can I have that? And everything like looks like in the middle of like the, the milky feeling, cause right everything under. Okay, like that. And and put a little. So in the middle over here, you can see those are very very soft. You can actually put the color in right now. Okay. Here you go. Maybe a little too early, but just look before you move forward. That's good. A little bit more like that. That's good. Have a little bit and also have a little red. Just get a little red. But this is nothing like jump out very bright. Okay, a little red over here. In your eye, after a while of thinking about the only the three primary colors to mix all the color, and if you try that, it you are going to feel in your eye because you analyze based on the three primary colors, and everything looks so simple to you. Okay, try it. It's all about taking the challenge okay like that have a little red color over here and I have is this if it's not red it will be blue or yellow or the mix of the three colors okay and I have that a little bit darker a little bit blue and here you go here you go that's good and that's okay and a little bit distance and you're gonna get uh, less and less clear okay 
Uh, right in the middle over here. This is, so there's no black color, right? There's nothing black. It's just the red, blue, and yellow. I'm gonna have this. There's a rock over here underneath. And that's like this. That's good. Okay, here you go. That's the rock underneath over here. That's a very, very dark, the darkest rock. But still, the color they are very connected. And there is some reflection on the top. Okay, there's a little gray rock. And there's another piece of gray rock over here. There's a little big gray color rock. Like that. And I'm gonna have that little color over here. And here you go. Look and sense it and then work on it. Okay. So wet into wet it works pretty well with this because it's everything under the water is very soft, especially when you go a little bit more and more into the distance. Okay, like that. That's good. And squint your eyes. Just don't open it. Don't open your eyes and just you got a little bit more softer into the distance. That's good. Like that. And that will create very good foundation for the painting. So a little gap over here. And have a little yellow color. And we can add to that in a moment. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's a little bit more greenish. So take a little bit more yellow and the blue color that's good a little bit more yellow if they're too bright get a little bit red into it okay here you go that's good okay here you go over here has some um, little, when it closer closer to us you can see some texture over there uh, we're gonna come back with a little bit uh, darker detail darker line in a little bit okay like that okay here you go this is good and this a little bit longer okay you can see that's a little bit clear shape clear line but you're gonna have to wait until it a little bit dry okay that's good i'm gonna have that a little bit blue color and a little bit darker. You see that? That's a little bit darker. That's good. Okay. Come back to take a look at the top over here. And let the bottom over here drive a little bit more. Yeah, before I go to do that, I want to remove some of the accumulated wet at the bottom. Okay. Now I want to take a look at the top over there. I think. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow color. And just a little bit yellow on top of this. Now I shade it a little bit more, give a little bit more smoother. Okay, that's good. And also the bottom over here, a little bit more straight. That's good. Now, a little bit more brighter. That's just good. Okay, that's just a little overlaid wash, organized. That's the whole shape. I'm going to have a little bit blue. And I'm going to have just a little bit brighter. That's good. A little bit more. Now take a look on this side. And this color appeared to be too light. Now I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this color all the way into the mountain in the back. So I'm gonna actually take this color mix into here. That's good enough. And here you go. There's a little bit darker. Like that. Okay. And this go all the way into that mountain. This is a bit of connected. 
together. Okay. And like that, that's good. Alright. And I can come back to have just a little bit blue. Not much, just a little bit detail. Right here, I see this mountain is coming up right here. That's good. Like that, and coming down here. Okay, so you can, well, it depends on how much you want to describe it. You don't have to describe at all if you don't want to make it that, that clear. Okay, there's a more like a statement for you. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit softer over there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have that a little bit softer. And this is good. And this is a very soft distance. And I'm gonna have the little bit blue. Just put it right here as well. Okay, that's it's good. Like that. Now the front over here getting drier. I'm gonna more care about over here. This is good. We're ready to paint the reflection over here, the water reflection, and come back to do the underwater in a bit. Okay. Now I first going to paint. Sometimes I use the red shade blue color, French ultramarine. And for example, over here, I can see a little bit, especially the reflection also have that too. Now I'm gonna have this uh, French ultramarine. And this is very bright. It may not just that color alone. I'm gonna take that a little color over here, plus a little bit green shade blue color. Now this a little bit more perfect to the color I want. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna take a look at and here, coming down here, that's good. And I'm gonna have the reflection right here. Okay, that's good, like that. You see, this is a pretty clear, like that is some little clear line because the water reflection. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, a little bit more clear. Like that. Now, reflection, the mountain in the distance. Like that. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have that a little line over here from left to the right. So I see that now I have opportunity to capture that little light shape coming in here. So I'm gonna capture that little light shape. Okay, that's good. And it should be ended here. Okay, that's good. Like that. And take a look onto this side. And this is the the hill. And a little bit like this. This is good. And depends on the water surface. Yes. When it is very windy, you may not really see that clear. And now coming over here, now I'll take a look at this and the shape over here. I'm going to keep adding more water into it. So it's going to keep it moisture a little bit longer. I'm going to have that little bit line coming over here. And have the line coming over like that. That will be good. Like I see, this is the gap, that's the light shape. That's why it caused some gap. So I'm now I'm going to have a little bit more of the green shade, blue color. And I'm gonna come back over here. And a little bit more, it's very bright. Okay, take a little bit. Okay, now coming over here, also have a little bit of the red ish okay here you go take a look there's a beautiful shape like that and over here that's good okay coming in over here and now have this a little bit more shape coming in here and come out over here 
That's good. Like that. And you see, a little bit like this. And you see that this connected. And keep it, keep it a little bit uh, soft. And keep it connected. So this is good. If we get that the reflection of the mountain over here. So you can take a look at it. Maybe come out a little bit more. Okay, like that. A little bit softer. A bit round. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna quickly coming over here when this is still wet. You see the almost the same distance. And coming over here. And have a little bit red into it. Okay, and then, and this is gonna get a little bit less and that way right here. Yeah, now I'm gonna have a little bit red, a little bit blue, and with the red, and they connect it like that. Have a little bit red over here. This is good. It may not be need to be that dark. Okay, here you go, All right here. That's good. And right there, I have a little gap over here as well. It's pretty nice. Okay, now I'm going to just use a little water. Okay, that's good. Like that. Here you go. Now they're showing the uh, mountain. Now I'm going to come in over here, have a little bit more green color connected over a little green, but it's not really that bright. And they have a little bit red into it. That's good. Right, that's good. Like for example, this color, connect that over, and this also have a little bit more green. Okay, here we go. Like this, I'm gonna have a little gap over here. And here you go, like that. This is very nice. Okay, now, and up over here, I'm gonna leave a little gap. Here you go, a little consistent gap, the light shape. Okay, that's good. Now, it over here is still a little bit too early because we want something really clean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, let it like this. I'm gonna come back a little bit brighter color a little bit. Now I'm gonna come in over here. This is still uh, a little bit wet, which is good. Now I'm gonna have this and a little bit the stuff from a little light on the top over here. So this, the green color will be for the mountain a little bit closer. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. Right. That's nice. And you'd be able to separate the issues into different layers, like a little different issues in a different process. Okay, I'm gonna have that. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna come back to use a little bit darker, a little bit more clear. But right now, I'm gonna just leave it like that. That will be fine. And I'll come back to have a little bit same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna have the uh, the little big red shade of blue color a little bit, and just put it a little bit over here. That's is good. Now I'm gonna take a look at this color. This color that is showing the distant mountain. Okay, here you go, like that. Now the distant mountain over here is almost the same height already. Okay, be careful. Okay, like that. And I'm going to have some, some little shape all the way from here to there. I'm going to have this a little bit longer. And the middle over here. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit darker. And I saw this, some members uh, uploads on uh, Discord sharing center and it's a little bit too rush. Okay, I want you to spend a little bit more time and uh, go through that. Make sure you see the relationship between the reflection and 
the object. Okay, now over here I have a little bit coming over here, just a little bit. Also, this seeing some objects right underneath. Come on, get because it's the shadow in the shadow we can see the object underneath the water a little bit better. Okay, here you go, like that. That's just the same height. Okay, like this, and a little bit open, a little bit open, like that. Okay, that's good. That will be become the under. So when I put the green color on top of that, that will look great. I create the layering. Okay, this is good. Now on this side, it's almost ready. It's still a little wet. Uh, now I'm gonna have a little bit green color. I'm gonna have a little bit green. Okay, this is good. Get that a little bit green coming back over here. Let's see, have a little bit line, soft line like this. There you go, like that. And it need to be darker, but we're gonna make it a little bit darker, a little bit after you drive. Okay, and I'm gonna come back on this side. To do that too. That's good. And seeing that, that's maybe ready here. And here you go. You see that how clear their shape can be. See that? That's good. That's good. And and take a look. And we can do that like a, a little drier brush, and you can see the a little bit more clear and remain the the edge a little bit more clear and here you go I'm gonna have that connect that over here that's good connect that and that's good like that and I'm gonna have just a little red and take a look at and that's a little bit more clear shape uh, think about this a little bit that's good that shape come out a little bit that's good and a little bit more blue red in here a little bit more clear that's good and now this side almost there okay okay I think the color is pretty good in the, for the reflection and I'm gonna come back over here now it's kind of rotated, like a little, on, a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right, so allowed it have a little bit more time to drive. Get a little bit yellow. Okay, here you go, like this. Now I'm gonna come back here, see the line a little bit more clear. Here you go. That's good. Now, over the line is consistent with the overall water movement. Okay, here you go, like that. And a little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right, take a look. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back to there in a bit. And maybe a little bit over here. Like I have that, a little bit shape. Okay, not too dark. Just a little light pink color. And see that a little bit over here, a little bit over here. And seeing that rock underneath. Okay, that's good. Like that. And we can also put a little bit over here, a little bit blue. Okay, here you go. A little big shape showing the rock underneath. That's good. Observation is very important. Understanding is important. It help to direct where you what your attention should pay to pay into. But observation in general is very important uh, for have a habit of pay attention to and analyze it. 
based on the information you collect. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to start working back to the reflection. Okay, now this is already dry, kind of dry. It's not fully dry. Now I'm going to have just a little bit brown color over overall underneath is a little bit brown. So get the uh, yellow and red, or the, the red with the uh, with the green. That is a uh, brown color. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to take a look and start from this rack. Then, okay, like that. Okay, here you go. Now it is we're just adding a little bit darker color to it, but mostly is already uh, very soft. Uh, in all the color. This is good. Now I'm gonna have just a little yellow over here on this side. I'm gonna have this just the water. Look at that. There's a little bit softer in here. And take a look at the rock underneath. That's connected to this piece of rock. Okay, that's good. Like this. All right, now getting there, but a little bit more, continue. So they are still staying very close, to, related to each other. Okay, have a little bit underneath. Okay, a little bit softer, like that. Yeah, a little bit softer, right there. That's good. And a little bit softer and yeah, now take a look at that is so there's a little lighter shape okay there's a little lighter shape over here observe trust yourself you can see it you can do it okay that's good a little bit over here and also uh, the object in a little distance always look smaller right and see a little line. Make sure you keep that as relative to the color related to the objects underneath so that you don't make it like confused with the blue color or what's just the reflection of the, uh, the mountain. Okay, here you go. Like that. And now get a little bit more and more blue. This is farther or farther away. Like that. There you go. A little bit softer. Like that. And, and some little color. But don't make it jump out. Okay. Too too much. Or uh, make it too uh, too much contrast and so on. Okay. Keep going. I'm going to have a little bit gray color. Okay. I'm going to have this. The gray color for this rock. Okay, like that. A little bit red. Okay, that's good. And there's the underneath the shadow. There's a little rock. Okay, here you go. There's a little rock over here and then another rock over there. So and using more of the shape, okay instead of line. Line this is what you start with. But now I'm gonna get back to the little bit brown color. Here you go. Okay, a little brown color over here. Now here you go. There's the rock over here on this side. And have a little bit more yellow. Here you go. Like that. Here you go. There's a little bit of warm red color. Now, have that little rock here. That's good. Now I'm gonna come back here to make this a little bit more clear. Okay, and then come back with just the red with the blue color. Okay, you see that this is maybe too dark. Okay, don't make it too dark. So when this is very close to us, yeah, you can have a little bit more clear. Don't make it too sudden. Okay, here you go. This rock. 
Now I can see under. Now a little bit more clear here on the top. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's the shape. Here you go. That's a little shape, a little reflection. Okay, here you go. A little bit like that. And over here, set a little bit in. And now come back over here, take a look at this. That's right, right underneath. And this separate this two rock. Let's consider put it close to right in front of us. So you can see a little bit more. You can give a little bit more clear separation. Okay, here you go. That looks like already on top of the water. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's the reflection of that rock. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come back over here. Just use the water. Soften that a little bit. And here you go. And this separate a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have this coming over here. And have a little bit. A little bit darker. Right here, that's good. And keep a little, some soft color. It's mostly soft. Okay, except the one that is very close to, very close to us. Now this good. This rock is already clear. I'm gonna have this, just a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. Like that. It's getting there. More and more clear. This rock, right in here. Okay, here you go. Like that. And there's a little piece of rock right here. So I'm gonna make the outside a little bit darker, so appear inside a little bit more uh, lighter. Okay, everything in contrast. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. Now getting there. I'm gonna have a little bit red color. This is have a little red already. Now have a little bit more red. Just tap on it, a little red. Okay, like that. Here you go. And the top over here. A little rock. That's good. Okay, a little bit darker. And now I'm going to come back, take care of a little bit red shape. Okay, that's good. Let's have a little red shape over here. Okay, this have a little bit brown color, so just add a little red. Just a little red over here as well. Okay, here you go. Yeah, a little red over here too. Okay, just keep that in mind. Anything under the water, they are more like, looks like in a plastic bag or something. So it remove some of the high contrast Okay, that's good. A little bit over here. Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. Just a little bit lighter, like that. That's good. Yes, a little bit here. And a little red right here. That's good. And also in a little distance. And that now you see more and more as little separation some a little bit clear some a little bit remain to be lighter I'm gonna have a little orange color have this little bit separate a little bit orange color and here you go now I'm gonna have that little bit texture for this rock and a little bit yellow over there now I'm gonna come back, mix a little bit brown. Okay. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna just use the dry brush. Like, okay, here you go. Trust the process, trust what you can do. Okay, that's good. Some over here. That's good. Like that, a little bit texture over here. And a little texture, texture only applied to the objects. 
right in front of you okay that's good and some texture over right here okay here you go that's supposed to be have a little bit separate as a rock okay a little bit blue okay that's good like that okay a little bit blue color coming over here that's good like that a little bit separate and I'm gonna have a little bit dark color okay not much there's a little rock in here Okay, here you go. A little bit. I'm gonna have the 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 color behind a little bit darker. So this rock would appear to be a little bit lighter. Okay, that's good. Okay, here you go. That's good. Now looks nice and and this one I'm gonna have just a little bit darker. But this is very clear to us. Okay, that's good. Just a few shape. When this is very close to us, you can have that. Okay. That's good. Okay, now it's maybe a little bit too much, so I don't want to jump out a little bit too much. That's good. Like that. And I'm gonna have a little green color on top of this. And I'm gonna have this. The front over here, have a little red right here. Okay, that's good. So if something a little bit over this gripe, uh, take it out, make it a little bit softer. And maybe this a little bit described, okay, make it a little bit softer. I'm gonna have just a little bit yellow and over here, like that, a little bit yellow, a little bit over here. That's when it's closer to us, we need the uh, difference that is close to us, far away from us, okay? That create the distance, okay, here you go. Here you go, like that. And a little bit blue. Okay, and the shadow side. Uh, as the reflection there, all the light coming from the top, from above the water. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. So get a little bit yellow, mix it into this. This is good. I'm gonna have that a little bit line. That's good. A little line coming on this side. That's very interesting. Okay, that's good. A little bit line on the Okay, that's good. Okay. There you go. That's too much, so I'm gonna soften that. Okay. Oh, that's very good. As the suggestions of the things under the water. I'm gonna have that a little bit darker. The front over here. I'm gonna have this a little bit more clear. Yes, here you go. That's a little bit more clear. And here you go. That's good. And here. A little bit blue. That's good. Okay, this is very nice. I'm going to have a little bit yellow color. And I'm gonna have some of the rock a little bit more yellow. And this whole shape a little bit yellow. Okay, that's good. Have a little shape over here, a little bit yellow. And a little bit over here too. And I'm gonna have a little grade 
and over here as well mm, too much green I don't want that confusing I'm gonna have a little bit red mix into it that's good it's showing that's the rock underneath okay now I'm gonna go back to uh, the top over here uh, take a look at this a little bit suggestions uh, for the rock underneath okay here you go a little bit clear that's good and make it a little bit lighter okay that's good and I just going to keep it just a very little subtle tip right here and have a little bit here that's good okay like that okay and also have a little bit blue color over here filled in this light shape I don't want it to be bright so bright so pop okay that's good and and if you want to have this appear to be lighter you need to make other areas to be less so I'm gonna do get a little bit blue into the red over here so I'm gonna have this a little bit darker okay says get a little bit red shade blue color and like that too now shading this in a little bit and when the all other surrounding area appear to be darker and then it will appear to be uh, lighter in comparison now it look lighter already okay that's good and nice and I'm going to come back here to give a little bit more clear green color and okay here you go I'm going to have the shape some line here you go clear a little bit more clear that's good like that now over here too I'm going to have a little bit blue a little bit red because too bright so that's good okay here you go now I'm gonna have some line over here from here all the way like a horizontal coming all the way from here okay keep that line make it consistent okay like this that's good okay a little bit more clear that's good now the water looks so nice I'm gonna have this a little bit more grouping so it's not so all tedious shape okay okay here you go now this is good all right now I'm gonna have some just slightly a little bit darker okay see this can be a little bit darker connected okay that's good like that and take a look over here can be a little bit darker underneath and a little bit darker on the side over here okay that looks as very good already hopefully all members have fun learning how to uh, paint the underwater and reflection this is your choice of the learning topic for this month we're also uh, adding some portrait learning only for our uh, member in the community so if you miss it miss the meeting and just look for the video on the uh, patreon okay so you should see the post if you cannot find what you're looking for make sure you contact me and just send me a message I would give it to you with the link okay that's good like that that's good a lot more connected okay now the reflection looks very interesting and the rock under here 
it then looks very very clear at the front and get a little bit less and less and it appear to be like under the water so I'm gonna do one more adjusting just get use the flat brush I want to actually remove some of the color I want to make it make sure that it's feeling there's more smoother okay under the water that make it feel like they actually all belong to the similar relationship uh, in overall they are the underwater rock okay that's good all right that's softer a lot better i'm gonna have this a big softer right here too that's good now over here i can remove that little bit over here Okay, that's good. I can remove that. So I feel the water moving uh, from left to the right. So keep squinting your eye and you can see that is, oh, now this is called organizing. Also you can see we touch. I'm gonna have a little bit horizontal line like this and make it feel like that's is under this is under the similar movement. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna have that a little bit lighter over here too. Okay, that's good. I can have that a little bit lighter. That's the water. That's good. And I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter over here. Okay. This is pretty good. I'm gonna also soften that a little bit. Okay, pretty good. Like that. Now, this is how we do both the water reflection and the object underwater. So hopefully you have fun in this uh, learning. If this is your first time here to this channel, Please subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss any of our future lessons like this. If you're already a member of Enjoying Arrow, I want to say thank you.